All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And yes, we are still kicking it with Granddad for a second night in a row over here on Winter Campitan, COD World War II, running around with the PPSH. And I don't know what it is about this game, fellers, but I like it. I mean, the maps are trash. This map is horrible. The streaks don't do anything. Uh, it's a pretty slow, campy game, to be honest. This game is, like, maybe a little bit faster paced than COD Ghost was. whole lot of camping going on in this game. Uh, but I don't know. For whatever reason, man, I, I, I like playing. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like playing it. It's uh. It's kind of fun. It's not terrible, and which is uh, it's been pretty tough to say about COD games lately. The game is just not terrible. Like I can play this, and you know I don't get depressed. Like oh my god, Granddad just wrecked me right there with his shotgun cheese. Look at this, blow! Oh damn, <laughs> I got wrecked. Oh, that was funny. Anyway, now I know people must be like, uh, a lot of people ask me this question. Like, Thunder, man, just give Warzone a try. Just bend the knee to Warzone, man. Give up on multiplayer. Go over to Snore Zone, man, and, and, and camp on top of the roof and hide in the bathroom stall. Or even glitch under the map. You could glitch under the map now in Snore Zone, man. Lots of people are doing it. What is it? Happened to my homie JD from NY. He got annihilated. There's tons of people glitching under the map. I see people complaining about the glitchers under the map on Twitter all the time. Yo, it is crazy how jacked up that game mode is, man. Between all the hackers, the bugs, the glitches, the map exploits, people glitching under the map. And let me tell you something, man. Glitching under the map in COD is a straight OG move, man. We've been doing this since COD 4, and it probably went on in COD 2. I mean, just glitching. There's always been some nerd glitching under the map as far back as I can remember. Haven't really seen it. We've seen a lot of people glitching in walls. Uh, haven't really seen people glitching under the map in the past couple COD games, but the fact that it's resurfaced in Snore Zone really don't surprise me, man, because that's an OG move. That's been going on forever. Uh, I don't know why the developers can't stop people from glitching under the map. But uh, it's, it's one of those super bugs, man. They cannot fix it. <laughs> it's just always going to be around. Once people find out the right angle to hit the wall or the floor or whatever, they go into the map and that's it. Uh, anyway, yeah, the dude shooting above me gave me away right here. Look at, look at my man right here creeping around the corner. Big Papa. Oh, man, the dude above me was shooting his gun and gave my position away, damn it. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, fellas, not about to play Snore Zone anytime soon and i know they just had some big fancy nuke event and i mean you would think the nuke event was incredible when you look at all the thumbnails from all the uh <laughs> snore zone streamers man check out the thumbnail look, look at these dudes these dudes are all sitting here like oh my god they got the macaulay culkin face you know mouth wide open like oh my god this is the greatest thing ever oh my god dude <laughs> check out what tom henderson had to say about the snore zone nuke event what is this or what what that is what what that is what dude this completely screwed me up is this what was that that's what he should have said <laughs> what that is i'm sorry but that has to be the crappiest in-game event i've ever seen war zone and check out papa glebe underneath them <laughs> he said bro to think i took two days off from work for a 30-minute combined event, SMH should have just took today off and played new skin map all day. Yo, yo, Papa Glebe, you took two days off from work? Stupid. For the Warzone event? Yo, homie, you better not let your boss see that, man. He will straight fire you. Yeah! I mean, people really do be posting the dumbest stuff on social media, man. You know what I'm saying? If you're taking time off work... Don't tell, don't tell people nothing, man. Don't put it on social media, period. What if your boss sees that? Like, what? You didn't come into work so you could watch a Warzone event? Oh, my goodness. Yo, I heard that Warzone event sucked and that uh, the map change really didn't do anything. Nope. I heard the map isn't even really changed that much. I heard it's basically the same thing. So, one of the lamest events ever. Uh, yeah, Fortnite is still definitely the king of uh, live events. Uh, anyway, guys, so moving right along, man, the news continues to pour out about COD Vanguard not being anywhere close to being finished. 
the multiplayer is in a horrible state. It's like not even ready to come out. Uh, but Activision will ship it out anyway. This is my prediction. I know a lot of people are saying just remaster MW2 or just remaster MW3. And you know what? They should. They should. But these remastered goaded COD games is Activision's ace in the hold. It's their trump card. Do they feel like they need to pull their trump card yet? Uh, I don't really think so, because they still have Warzone, which is carrying the franchise. I mean, all they're going to do is keep updating Warzone, right? I mean, what do you even need multiplayer for? There's not that many people on multiplayer. Plus, the multiplayer fans are scattered all over the place through the older COD games. Like, every old COD game I've gone on, fellas, I am immediately finding lobbies. I'm not sitting around waiting forever for a match to start, like I'm over in Titanfall. I come on any of these older, even Black Ops 3 free-for-all, I'm getting in matches, you know, immediately. As soon as I hit, you know, find a match, boom, I'm in a match immediately. I come Black Ops 4, always players there, always players here on Call of Grandad. And I'm sure if I went over to, I mean, even when I went and played COD Ghosts, I was getting into lobbies, you know, no problem. I was getting the lobbies immediately. The Call of Duty multiplayer community is scattered all over the place because the multiplayer community likes different types of games. There's some of us that like COD World War II. There's some of us that like Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 3, uh, COD Ghost. I mean, we're just scattered all over the place. We're so fragmented. Uh, God Warzone's got everybody together. The whole Battle Royale community is on Warzone. There is no different variation of Warzone. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you like Battle Royale, you know, if you like PUBG on Call of Duty, Warzone is where you're going to be. <laughs> there is no, you know, five or six different uh, Warzone games to play. There's just one Warzone, and that is it. And, yo, good play by the granddad in the Grim Reaper pajamas right here. Yeah, Dejuan, this guy, he's a good player, man. Dejuan was trying his hardest to make sure Thunder didn't have no good uploads for you guys last couple of days, man. De I played Dejuan a couple of matches, and uh, yeah, that dude, that dude could play. Shout out to him. But you know the matchmaking will never put me and him on the same team, man. Never. Damn, I hate the matchmaking in, in these recent COD games, dude. It's so terrible. Like, I played that dude like 10 times, man, and not once was he put on my team. He was all me and him were always the sweat captains of our respective teams that we were on. Anyway, so I want to share this tweet with you guys. The tweet put out from the homie Modern Warzone, which I 1000% agree with this. So Modern Warzone tweeted out earlier tonight. How many times does Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer have to leak before we accept it won't release until Call of Duty has one of their worst years ever? It's their ace in the hole, people. No matter what happens, they know they can release it, and it will break records. Absolutely, bro. An MW2 multiplayer remaster, even the dudes who jumped over on uh, Warzone Battle Royale, even those dudes who jumped ship on multiplayer, as soon as they saw the difference in views, <laughs> they completely bailed on multiplayer and went over to Snore Zone. I mean, even those guys would come running back for some MW2 Remaster multiplayer. Guarantee it. Now, MW2 Remaster multiplayer might sound good, but with modern skill-based matchmaking, fellas, it would be terrible. I'm telling you, man. It would be a... Multiplayer has been ruined for life, no matter what they do. No matter what. Even Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1. I mean, dude, Black Ops 1 was a great Call of Duty game. One of the biggest reasons why it was such a great game is because you could play it casually, man. Like, how many times did you go into a Black Ops 1 lobby and you were playing a whole team of noob split screeners and you had all 15th prestige ghost dudes on your team? I mean, you could just sit back and crack open a beer on the couch and just completely dominate, not even trying. Now, with the way the matchmaking is, all them split screeners will be on your team and you'll be going up against the 15th prestige ghost dudes. See what I'm saying? The, the, the script will flip. <laughs> <laughs> Big time. So can you imagine Black Ops 1 with modern day matchmaking in every lobby you're playing against Ghost and Golden Famas, 15th Prestige, uh, Bushwookie Suit, Sweaty Tryhard, every single like four or five KD Tryhard Sweat with his Ghost and his Gold Famas every game. You'd hate it. You would hate Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1 would be terrible. So... Matchmaking played a big role in our previous Call of Duty experiences, guys. Believe me. And that is now gone forever. Bye -bye. 
world. Uh, as long as Activision thinks the skill-based matchmaking is making them money, which I don't know how it does, because honestly, dude, it might be good for the new players, but you, you're killing your veteran fan base. Like, if it wasn't for you guys in this channel, I would never touch Call of Duty. Nope. Well, maybe multiplayer I would never touch, but zombies I would play. I'd probably still get the game just to play zombies. Zombies is fun, man. Uh, it really is. I enjoy zombies, even though there's only, like, what, two maps for Cold Snore Zombies? <laughs> There's only two maps. So you got one snore zone map that's been slightly altered after the nuke event that had all the streamers, you know, with their mouths wide open. Like, you know, they were trying to swallow a whole banana with their booty hole. And then you have uh, zombies, which is a great game mode. Everyone loves zombies, right? Not too many complaints there. But there's only like, what, two maps or, or maybe three maps? I don't even know how many maps are there in zombies, man. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> For the multiplayer, uh, don't even matter how many maps multiplayer has. Multiplayer in Cold War is probably one of the worst experiences in gaming today. It is terrible. I don't know how you guys do it. Props to all you Cold Snore multiplayer guys. I don't know how you're doing it. I really don't. Uh, anyway, all right, guys, that's all I got. Let me know what you think about all this stuff down in the comment section, man. Should COD Vanguard come out unfinished or not? Because people will buy it. Activision knows they'll buy whatever. As long as they put COD on the box, people will eat it up. Or should they drop that remaster? I think they should drop MW2 remaster this year. I think they need to because they could drop MW2 remaster this year and then boom, go right into MW 2019 part two in 2022. You see what I'm saying, fellas? I mean, keep the momentum going, Activision. And then you'll have Treyarch's game dropping after that. So I don't know. It could actually work out really well. MW2 Remaster this year, Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2, and then Treyarch's game in 2023. Uh, hopefully, it's a lot better than Cold Snore. Try, I mean, Treyarch, I'm going to give them a pass. They made the game in the pandemic. I'm going to give my boys a Treyarch a pass. Treyarch, you guys need to redeem yourselves in 2023, man. I still have faith. I still have faith. What do you guys think? Will Treyarch redeem themselves in 2023? So, two years of Modern Warfare 2, and then straight into Treyarch's next game. I don't know, fellas. I think Call of Duty, uh, I'm going to be optimistic here. Call of Duty might be looking all right. It might be looking all right if that's exact, if that's what they're going to do. Hopefully, that's the direction Activision goes in. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.